Welcome back once again. Nice to see you. You've reached part three, dissecting a Dover impulse button. So, you're probably wondering, what makes the Dover impulse button press? Well, it's actually a lot more complicated than you'd think. If you look here, there is a glass thing right there that's plastic with a spring here. And this little red button is the actuator. Now watch what happens when I press the button down. It moves like that. And there's also another one on this side of the button. The whole thing comes apart with two screws. So we're going to use my Canton Elevator screwdriver to unscrew it. But I did a but good job tightening these screws though. But once you get them going, they come out pretty easy. That's one. Now you're going to see how original Tizencrop was here. I believe this button was made in... There was a date on this. December of 2004. Here's a little actuator. Now listen to what it sounds like now. Nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. Now if you look here, see these little actuators? Pull one out for you. Didn't that look almost exactly like the inside of the Aurora button? That just goes to show you how original Tizenkrupp was, everybody. They basically took Dover's idea and put their name on it. And also U.S.'s idea, too. Maybe Dover Inc. was still around. Maybe they sued. Maybe they, that's why they had to get rid of him. Okay. So now you have to make sure this goes the right way. As you can see, the actuator does indeed go that way, so we assemble it this way. We flip the top over, we get our screws, we put one here. You know, after I saw how easy this was to, dis to, dis to disassemble and reassemble compared to the freaking Aurora buttons, I gained a little bit of respect for Impulse. I really did. Wait, that's not right. That's not right. I have to use the bigger screwdriver. That's not right. Putting this back together. Okay, that's pretty damn tight, so let's put the other screw on. By the way, the switches were also made by the same company, Omron. And voila, the over impulse. As you can see, it is a lot more bulkier than the Aurora button. But I gained a lot of respect for impulse after I saw this. So, I hope you enjoyed all my elevator parts. So, until the next elevator video, bye.